All right, everybody, there was an OS tree flat pack issue over the past few days, and I wanted to talk about it a little bit because it's an area where I feel like the model's given us an extra saving throw, and I think it kind of is an example of how uh, we can crowdsource and use kind of a DevOps mentality to keep our desktops running better. Uh, so there was this issue reported three days ago in the flat pack repo, and it it was a bad one. Flat pack can install apps and it can't update. So that's, that's no bueno, you know, especially since we kind of depend on that thing to give us our applications. So as we scroll down through the bug, we can see people start to do the open source thing, report, add as much information as they can. Uh, we're going to do that. Okay. All right. Simon's here. This is, this one's probably serious. Um, then we go and then there's an upstream issue. We will go ahead and do that. Anytime you see this load more widget in GitHub, you're probably in the right place. <laughs> so going to keep scrolling, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Someone being a jerk on the internet. I'm going to go ahead and downvote that. I've also kind of unclicked it and clicked it multiple times today in the hopes that they get a notification every time uh, that happens. So ignore that trash. Keep going. People doing the open source thing. Nice work, everybody. Huh, what's this? Revert to older version of OS tree to fix Flatpak installations in Ublue. So what had happened was is Garrett Lesage had posted, hey, if you're on silver blue, this, this is the thing that fixes your issue. And if we look at it, it's a one-liner. It's an RPM OS tree override replace, blah, right? And the way we try to think of th things around here is why would we make everybody do this when we could do this ourselves? That's kind of why we exist. Uh, so we did as soon as we figured it out, Hey, we could absolutely, we could, we could probably fix this. And, and we did, and we committed this yesterday and then we kicked off all the builds and none of my machines were affected. There were probably some people that were affected because by the time we realized we could fix it and you know, that it was a problem, uh, you know, there was probably some, some lag there, but you know, generally speaking, we were able to get done and hopefully, you know, with the proper tooling, we can make that process even better so we we did this kicked off the builds and you don't have to worry about this anymore in contrast to having to like find and dig that dig through dig through this mess that i don't want to deal with right now because i want a working computer um and let's look at the upstream bug because even though we are shipping a workaround <laughs> you know it's it's the weekend and we can't expect open source developers to work on the weekend uh, like these open source developers are doing in this issue as we speak, because as you look, if you look at the engineering that needs to happen here, Dan is still working today and it is Sunday and that is not awesome, right? We're working too. And you know, th that's one of the bummers. Sometimes the T-Rex just gets you that day you know, and no software is perfect. This isn't a dunk on Fedora, Fedora QA. What this is, is I'm trying to explain the value, right? Of not just having a model like this that takes that kind of DevOps approach, but the open source governance and community aspects that we have to enable RJ to fix this because he would have had to fix his own computer. So why not fix it for everybody? We have crossed over 600,000 image pools in Universal Blue. That is over 600,000 successful upgrades. As far as we know, we don't, we can't count users, but you know, if the numbers keep going up, yeah, if the number goes up, it, it means it's successful as far as we can tell. So that's very interesting to me that we can add that kind of extra layer, that, that plus one to your saving throw, in addition to all of the things that your distribution provides, but do it in a structured manner so that we have a way to ensure that we can, um, you know, ship the right stuff and not ship more broken stuff. And that takes reviews and things like that. RJ just got reviewer permissions to Universal Blue this week. This is his first weekend on the job. And I just can't be more proud of the team. You're gonna look around. I mean, we don't, we don't, do we wanna see what Reddit's talking about? How much you want of that? Hey, 77 comments, right? Can you imagine your computer's broken? You're trying to figure out what's going on. People are, people are like talking past each other. You have no idea. Is my man RJ, five words gets it done. I love it. That's that DevOps, that tenacity. Love it.
So with that, thank you very much. Please be kind to each other. And uh, yeah, let's keep rocking. This is really great. Have a great time, everyone.